What's going on guys? UP West Coast Real Fan 4014 here. And I got the uh, unboxing and review today of the Atherin Genesis brand new ES44 DC. Uh, that has just been re-released. Uh, this is number uh, 7672 of the new BNSF Heritage 3 scheme. And uh, I just got this. But I really like the new Atherin Genesis logo better than the older ones. I'm going to turn this fan off. And I still have a older H2 version, uh, uh, 7724. It just came in as a latest Christmas gift. So here we have the operator's manual. It talks about the locomotive. Of DCC and sound of Tsunami 2. And then the end here. So I'll just put this in the side. All right. So that's what we've all been waiting for the release. That I'll set this in the sleeve in the side. Here we go. Isn't it really nice? That is just, I'm just gonna protect the handrails and I'm just gonna do this really quick. Come on now. Okay. And then last for this one. Get them out here. All right, so here we have my first HL Scale Heritage 3 locomotive that I ever bought on my whole fucking world in my life. Wow. So you get the nice road number and the number boards and the swoosh logo. And you get the uh, let me see. I'm gonna zoom in the BNSF with the headlight, and you get the a bell and and the Nathan K5HL and the exhaust stack, and you get. The coupling cut lever, this one. 
then you go on the right for this one. You get the grab irons and right here in the same and ladders. And you get some oil of gas and the uh, Wyatt truck. And then the back, which is you got the MU holes. But so that looks really good in this great model. But I've been wanting this one for a, for a while. This Heritage 3 BNSF locomotive. So I'm going to get the Heritage 2 out of there and um, give it a quick look at. All right, so we got these two BNSF units the one I have, the one from almost three years, and the one from this year. So I'll tell you what the difference is on the the BNSF H2 Jeevo and the Heritage Street Jeevo. But they're just the same size of that uh, locomotive. So this is a faded Heritage 2 and a repaint Heritage Street unit. But, because let me tell you, because that's what... Really, really love these two BNSF units of the most. And then I'm probably going to do like a information about these ones so I could do on one of the new layout updates, which is going to be upcoming very, very soon when I add most of the BNSF locomotives. And so I could add a few with a pair of G bowls I could I still wanted to get the air I mean uh the H2 uh 7700 and the Norfolk Southern 7508 of Tsunami 2 which is the ones but and they both have DCC and Tsunami 2 sound from the factory though It's in great looking locomotives and LEDs. But I just want to tell you how much I love of the Heritage 3 BNSF scheme to that logo of 76, 72. And And it's in spectacular condition because that's why I really love that one as well. Better than the older Heritage 2 scheme. So I bought this off of eBay at the from the eBay zone for the seller from the White Rose Hobbies. Cause it was just two hundred eighty nine dollars. Cause that's a, uh, it's quite worth a lot of money. Cause that's why I really love this. And uh, for now, I'll still plan to make another video. Where I could do one of the BNSF HO layout. So. And then I'll be making a video of this one of the Tsunami 2. You can hear the sound. And I'm probably still going to add plenty that I could buy of the rolling stocks of the whale cars by Atlas and Cato. And then 
I want to add like the white on the Schneider of the 53 foot domestic containers by Athern because they're only $38 on eBay. And then, and I'm still going to be getting a few more, a bunch of them with sound of these units. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to add the tier four Jivo back in here mountain for a while. I'm going to stick with these Tsunami 2 sound ones. And the CSX or or Norfolk Southern and the BNSF, the H2 7700 will just have to wait like for a while until I could go back to Morongo in the casino on Cabazon that I could win a lot of money. And uh, I am going to see if I could get the really cool ones of the Genesis 2.0-9s of the Warp on it, so the Santa Fe version and the BNSF Warp on it as well. And probably I could see I could get the UP versions of SD Sony ACEs, uh, 9069 and 9096. And then two SD70Ms are the 3972 and 3973 with the sequence numbers. They're like $300 because I wanted to get them uh, very soon to run on the BNSF Southern Transcon for the West Coast. So that's pretty much it for my video of the brand new NIB after Genesis ES44 DC of the BNSF Railway Heritage 3 scheme uh, 7672. And uh, thank you guys for watching because I'll be posting this one on YouTube and then and posting on Facebook and on Instagram and a little bit on Twitter because I know it says the X on the app of Twitter. So hope you guys enjoy this video and then when I go back rail fanning to get some BNSF action. And I'll, I'll see you guys in the next few weeks or next video. And uh hope you guys have a happy new year and Merry Christmas to you guys. But I know it's already finally over. And I know it's already past Christmas Day. But still, uh, you know. Alright, so that's it for now. And see you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys have a good one and be safe and take care.